Hello guys, I hope all of you are doing well. I missed you so much. Thank you for coming back once again to my channel. For you new subscribers, thank you so much. And also thank you to all of you that follow me on the Instagram that I started. And if you didn't know, uh, my Instagram name is the underscore karmic destiny. If you didn't know, and for you guys that already are on there, I love you guys so, so much. So supportive and you guys rock. And I'll also leave the, my link for my website if you guys are interested in a personal reading because I love your support. You've been very supportive with that and you guys are just the best. Um, now I'm getting ready to do the love reading here for Gemini, April 2017. I hope I didn't say 16 in the other videos because I've been so tired. And by the way, I have like construction going on in my place. So it's like crazy. So forgive me for my being all over the place and stuff like that i do get messages from you guys to do mid-month readings and the generals even my brother says do them but he already knows i've been so busy with stuff going in my house work the baby and everything but i promise that i'm gonna do all my best once i get situated with everything going on in my house to get back in in, in my in a schedule to be able to do that for you guys okay so let's see what's in store for jemmy's april love Okay, so the first card that we have here is the hangman in reverse. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you jammies um, could be dealing with, not a lot of you, but I just I always say that. I feel like you jammies could be dealing here with a situation, a relationship here that you're kind of wishy-washy about. And I, I don't know, I feel like you you don't have enough clarity when it comes to the relationship or the person that you could be dealing with okay and it makes you feel or you are on the fence about it maybe a little bit confused one minute you're like yeah i'll give it a try and then the next minute you're like hell no i like just just be chilling how i am so this is the energy that i'm picking up with the hangman for you guys going into april you know what i'm saying there's nothing wrong with that and i feel like this is with the person that you've been dealing with that you know for a while here for some of you okay i don't feel like this has to do with new energy to be honest okay others of you from what i see you either have a child that you're either concerned about the schooling or or or, 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 or college or thing of that nature others of you i feel like you're very focused on it's weird because this is your love reading, but I just feel like a lot of you are also thinking about something that you're working on, something about your finances here, uh, creating something, a project or something of that nature, working on something. This is what you are possibly thinking about and working towards in April, okay? Even though this is a love reading, it's like this is the only card energy that I have here that has to do with really like that type of energy, you know what I'm saying? But hangman clearly some of you guys are feeling in two kind of minds when it comes to a person a relationship okay could be a person from the past okay i don't feel like it's someone new here now you have this map oh no i'm sorry about that how do you turn this off so many things at one time jummies i feel like you have this particular man woman in your life emperor okay the emperor is known to be an older person someone that older than you gemini i mean someone that is respected i don't know if this person has their own business or just well established when the emperor shows up in a reading here love reading is clearly someone here and this is behind this princess of pentacles that i don't know it's like he she wants to be with you but I don't know. I just feel like you're turning their, your back on them. So I don't know if this has to do with the hangman there. But your, your back is, is toward this person, okay? And he came in reverse. So I just feel like this particular energy of this person, you know, could be a little bit like, you know, not only stubborn but narcissistic and things of that nature. This person could be a helpful person, but the way that they're helpful is like in a narcissistic way. It's not like really in a, in a way that's sincere for you. Maybe that's why you have your turn your back on this particular guy, girl, because you already know what's up. Others of you are in a situation, in a relationship that you either don't want to let go of, your partner doesn't want to let go of. The point is, there's a relationship here, Gemini. That some of you are either 
resisting to let go, resisting some sort of change, a relationship that has kind of had his roughness with it, okay? Because the death card clearly, in reverse, is indication that it's a relationship, okay? That maybe died a while ago. And I don't mean to be funny like hundreds of years ago, but it died a while ago. But there's an energy here that you're holding on to, okay? And the, the death card is in reverse. So it's like you're not allowing yourself, you know? You're not allowing yourself to embrace what can be ahead of you. Okay, and that's not like us. I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. At one point, I was like that with a relationship. I don't know if I was crazy or obsessed or something like that with the idea. But the point is, is that you need to try to let go of this particular energy here because it's only gonna create blockages for you. You know what I'm saying? This energy is the only dark card here. And I mean dark, like you see it's dark here and things like that. And it's in reverse. So some sort of resistance could be the way that you're seeing the relationship, your mentality towards it. OK, some kind of blockage. And it's a little bit dark. OK, so even even if it's negative thoughts, oh, I feel like this relationship sucks. It's not going to go work out. It's not going to get better. That's a blockage right there. OK, so it could also mean spirit trying to tell you here that you need to um, work on releasing, letting go of Negative, negative thought patterns or behaviors, okay, to let yourself be freed from a particular relationship, a particular situation here, okay, that you clearly, you know, I don't know if this is connected with the hangman, but clearly here, you're in two minds about something, whether you want to dabble with this fool or not, whatever, you can, because I can do that too, I can dabble with your ass, play with you for you, and dump your ass, you know, I know it sounds crazy, but I can do that, so I don't know if this is the energy coming on here, and you have this emperor guy person here, right here in the middle, so I just know some of you guys probably are dealing with somebody that maybe you've been wanting to get rid of, and you can, and he's like a lingering person, lingering girl there, I don't know if you have ties, but this person is a strong, dominant person, and they're there, next card you have is three of pentacles, some of you guys will be, or are interested in someone that you work with, or do something with, work closely with, okay, could be at work, could be something that you do together, whether it's an activity or a sport or something like that. But the Three of Pentacles is positive omen when it comes to love, okay? It's an indication here that someone here has mutual respect for you and, and, and they admire who you are. It's like a mutual respect here of likings between you and someone, okay? This particular person hasn't come out to you yet in reference to like telling you, hey, girl, guy, I like you. They haven't come out because Spirit is saying that this energy of this person they take their time or they want to take their time so it's up to you gemini if you're willing to be patient they're saying because there's going to be some required patience here because this particular person energy could be an earth sign person virgo capricorn or taurus does it have to be but they move a little bit slower than maybe your likings or your understanding but there is potential here for someone else this is for others of you gemini's that could be a friend, could be someone you've known for a while, maybe three months or three years, that really likes you but hasn't really come out like, I want to have a romantical relationship with you. And I feel like some of you guys already know this particular person and know that they're vibing on you, but you're just chilling and stuff, not saying anything. So for others of you, like I said, hanging in the balance there in two minds, hey, do what you got to do in April, that's fine here. But there's a particular person in your life here okay that's that that hasn't gone and isn't leaving here okay they're very stubborn okay so i don't know if this is why you have the death card in reverse either you don't want to let go or they don't want to let go because this energy i feel right here for this particular energy is very stubborn and it's like they're not going anywhere kind of energy okay love you gemini's bye